What's up guys, the camp in Russia here. Welcome back to the oldest server in Minecraft. Today it's just me. Um, again, the queue system kind of screwed us over. Mitch was, uh, we were both queue about 50. We'd been waiting a couple hours to get on. And last second, Mitch got reset, unfortunately. So, with that being said, he had to head to sleep and it's up to me. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning in today, you are in for a god dang good episode. We are going to one of the richest near spawn veteran bases in the oldest server in Minecraft. Now, from where I got these cords, I will say this. It was not my spy. Today it was from uh, someone totally different. It was, uh, like, you guys know I got, what, what was the base going? Yeah, like 2K, 2K, and some of those uh, closer spawn builds. I got them, and, and I'm going to coordinate up right now, ladies and gentlemen, because I will be long gone from this place once you uh, see where I'm at. So this is this is no worries. Uh, by the way, what I was doing the, just there is using my bone meal to get uh, more carrots. I had like 20 carrots. Now I've got two and a half stacks, so I should be good for today's episode. But with that being said, yes, today, um, so I got the coordinates from uh, actually a person on Twitter messaged me. I think it was uh, I, Unstoppable RT was his name. I, I'm able to say his name. He said that's cool. And uh, he passed these cords on to me, so big thanks to him. And with that being said, I'm just, uh, I'm super freaking excited, man, because we are going to, again, the richest base we've ever seen in the oldest server in Minecraft. We've never seen anything like this that we're going to see today. And it's, um, it's not rated. It's totally not rated. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys this. It's going to be awesome. As we are closing into the end spawn, again, I'm just on my way out of the end right now. One of the disadvantages is not have not having Mitch here is the spawn of the end portal is going to take me back to spawn. And Mitch has checked it earlier today and it was not trapped, but he would be he would have been able to scout for me to tell me if there was any um any bad guys, any vets around the area cuz I'm actually going to be going right into spawn and if you guys can't tell I'm pretty loaded at the moment. Now, spawn, end spawn has changed since we've last been here. It's actually, they've turned it into a hub of sorts. Um, so let me just make sure, I believe I went this way and then to the left for the last, uh, the last portal. But let's get up and make sure we can find this thing, because we need to just get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We are in a very dangerous spot. Uh, Mitch actually saw vets here earlier today. So again, we just need to jump through this portal. My heart's actually kind of pounding right now. The end portal's right there. Okay. So again, we're probably going to go directly to 0, zero. And from there, I just need to book it. And uh, I know the way I'm going. Wait, I thought I saw this thing. Oh yeah, right over there. I think this is it here. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay. So we need to get there. If there's any vets, we run like heck. I've got E-Pearls. There's a chance I can get away. I just need to make sure I'm going in the right direction. So I'm probably going to jump in. And uh, all right, let's do this. Okay, we're here. Oh, there's two people here already. There's two people. I'm just running. I'm running my little heart out. Oh, there's more people right there. Look how many people are around right now. Holy crap. Okay, I just need to book it, guys. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. Get my pickaxe on hand. Holy lord, I'm freaking out. I've never been at spawn with this much loot in my inventory. I really don't want to die. I really want to get out of here alive. Another person there. I don't see, uh, I don't see a shield, I don't think. I don't have my shield on. I'm just showing uh, a few carrots right now. Obviously, if someone sees me, they're going to know I'm diamond armor. There's so many people around me, man. Holy crap. I might want to tack on Killora. Ooh, is this guy pretty loaded? Oh, that guy's got a sword. That guy's got a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Stop lagging. Okay, I'm booking it. I'm booking it. I'm not stopping. Holy lord, my heart's pumping. We need to get out of here. That's so many guys we've seen so far. Just keep running, Rush. I just turned on Kill Aura and Reach Hacks just to give me, or no, Critical Hacks. Oh my god, no. I got, oh my god, this is this is bad. That's a veteran. This is a veteran. Holy crap, he might kill me. He might kill me. If he kills me, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. This could be it. I don't know what to do. He has, He's at 12 health. Oh, I have Kill Aura. I have Kill Aura. I'm accidentally beating him. He's booking it right now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I shouldn't have beat him. I shouldn't have beat him. I didn't mean to beat him. He's got god apples. Okay, I'm booking it. I'm booking it. I'm booking it. Oh, he's got a flame bow, dude. That was a bad call. I'm going to die. I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose everything. Oh, my lord. Book it, buddy. I had Killor on. I shouldn't have turned Killor on. 
All right, I'm booking it. I'm booking it. Run like the wind, Rush. Run like the wind. I only have apples right now, though. Here we go. I think I actually made it away from that guy. Somehow, dude, I'm, I'm still alive. I, I actually have no clue how. But I need to get out of this lava curtain now, and I think I just went right underneath it. Yeah, that guy didn't chase me. So he was trying to team, I think, and I didn't know if he had the god apples or the gold. But guys, he had everything. That was a fully geared vet, and he didn't kill me, dude. Oh, I'm so freaking lucky, man. I'm so lucky. But we just need to keep rolling and get out of here. I'm in a big lava curtain right now. I made it out of spawn. I'm going through the nether portal. Of course, I have to travel by the nether. Ooh, I'm right on the highway, too. I'm right on the highway. Perfect place to be. Now, thing is, I really need some obsidian, but I don't have a diamond pickaxe, and I don't think that will drop me anything so i gotta go without this obby for now i just gotta keep running i'm on my way I, I could be there within i won't even say time because i don't want this place to be found we'll deal with that when we get there first thing on our agenda today now that i feel like i'm a little bit safer i mean i'm not completely safe don't get me wrong but i'm a little bit safer i am going to leave a chest for mitch so if you don't remember mitch has recently died in the end on his alt account so he's actually at spawn with nothing so i'm pretty far out right now but I am, you know what? No, I won't put it right here. I'm going to put it in uh, probably this general area. Actually, no, by the time you guys see this video, he will have already came. So either way, so I can hide this with you. Either way, we're not going to put it right here though. But I am going to hide this thing. And then I will send Mitch a picture of the, the coordinates. And he should be able to get here. I mean, he's going to be coming on within 12 hours of me placing this. So yes, it may get taken before then. But um... Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. I mean, we'll leave him some food. That'll kind of be the plan. I guess that, that chunk's not working. We can't go in that chunk. Something's going on there. All right. So I'm thinking we throw it right there. And uh, and then I'll screenshot the cords for him. All I'm going to keep for him uh, is enough carrots to... I mean, we'll give him that many carrots. Technically, I still have unlimited food, right, guys? I still got 64 bones. So I can get another uh, probably three stacks of carrots out of that. Um, and then anything else? Maybe if he needs an iron pickaxe... Uh, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know what else he would need, dude. I'm just gonna leave that stuff for him. And maybe a couple blocks, dude. And then I'm out of here. We'll cover that up with, uh, with netherrack, dude, and hope for the best. Goodbye, chest. I hope you make it, and I hope Mitch finds good use out of you. Um, we are, we got a couple, we got one stop before we go to our grand finale, uh, today's episode. And we will be at the first stop within a couple hundred blocks, actually. And so it's pretty cool. I've actually, I, I've just, oh my God, I thought I was getting hit. That was my, I got to put these ender pearls. Uh, I got to put them uh, off my hot bar. Holy crap. That made my heart drop. Dude, I'm like so on edge right now. I can't actually believe we're still alive. I got to be honest. Seeing that veteran and living was absolutely nuts. I can't believe we're still here, but either way, we'll, we'll check out this new spot. Um, we've got all these spots. Dude. We're getting all this info and this is what I wanted on the oldest server. I wanted to start gathering people gathering spies resources and it's finally starting to come together and we're able to show off these cool things to you guys but also experience them for ourselves dude like i'm so excited for today's episode and what we are planning to go to uh hold on tight ladies and gentlemen it's gonna be a good one ladies and gentlemen welcome to our first stop of the day and i'm trying to remember if this is actually what we first came to if it's the first sanctuary looking at it now it doesn't look like uh again one of my scouts was telling me about this place and one it's just a good food stop i i mean again i said we have unlimited food but bread is so much better to eat and just way more efficient than than carrots would be so what we're gonna do is loot a bunch of this weed up so we get some uh some good old bread in our inventories and then we're just gonna check out the place again this isn't the official spot this is our, um, I, I don't know, we're, we're getting there. Again, I, people probably recognize this place, so I won't say it's our, our halfway point or anything like that, but it's on the way, and uh, I don't know, we're making good progress. So I just want to pick up some food for the rest of the journey. Basically, it's like a massive wheat farm with a cool build in the middle. I don't know, man, and, and like it's still planted, right? It, everyone's just comes here, takes some stuff, replants it. One of the biggest wheat farms I've ever seen. Probably one of the biggest wheat farms near spawn. This and the, the original sanctuary that we went to. Um, I just can't remember because that was what? Episode 2, I believe? 2 or 3? And I can't recall um, the coordinates. I forget if it's a negative or positive. I know what this one is, obviously, but I just forget the, the first one we came to. So I'm trying to be speedy so we can get out of here as quick as possible before enemies come. So I'll try and... Uh, I'm going to show this off to you quickly. Again, I will replant things 
uh, before I leave. But yeah, we're almost already at a stack of wheat, which again, just so much easier to eat stuff. Oh, this is such an epic build though. Check this out. Everyone's just thanking it, right? Lava cast and griefing 62616. Oh, that was signed really uh, pretty recently. Kojath replanted some. So this thing's been going for a couple months at least. Again, just a really cool like save me farm. A sanctuary. That's what it is. It's got these cool cat pyramid designs. I don't know. Really cool place. Let me get my wheat, my bread, and we'll be on track for our final stop of the day. Look at all this wheat, man. Holy crap. <laughs> This is the most wheat I've ever seen in Minecraft, dude. Holy lord. This is nuts. All right. So, again, I'm replanting. I'm going to go back and replant some, but I'm replanting as I go. A little messy, but I'm making sure to get at least a, a couple stacks uh, of seeds back down. This is nuts, though. Just look at it, dude. Holy crap. All right. Let me drop some more of those out. Pick up some more wheat. We can never have enough wheat, dude. Again, this will just, this will last us. I think this will last enough. The amount we've gotten already. Again, we do have a fair amount of running to do in this episode. And that's the reason I'm stalking so much here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's just about enough, dude. I'm thinking one more stack, maybe. What can I drop for this? One piece of wood we'll have to do. And give me some more wheat. Yeah, I'll, I'll get one more stack of wheat. And then we will be out of here. Oh my god, I thought I was trapped in here. I literally was able to mine the block though. I thought you weren't able to mine blocks. I thought I just got trapped by that portal. Oh my lord, I was able to dig out. So yeah, when I came here, the portal was completely blocked. I was in the middle. Whoo! Okay, that could have been bad. So that's the last portal I have to go through other than the one that gets me to the spot. Reason I needed to do that is I need to go get a diamond pickaxe because we're not gonna be staying on this highway. We need to veer off the main highway in order to get to the coordinates we are looking for. And just like that, I now have the tool necessary to get obsidian. I can replace my booties, I guess, as well. I don't know about the other pieces of gear though, as I think, what is this one? That's fire protection. Yeah, those are too good. Fire protection, respiration, unbreaking. I think that's worth it. I will, however, recraft another pair of diamond pants though. Or, sorry, diamond chest plate. Um, just because that one's about to break. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I got a diamond uh, pick. So just to clarify, I'm going back into the nether now. And I can mine obsidian wherever I want. Because now I can make a portal when I need to leave um, this evil place. And that includes, uh, what do I got? I have flint and steel right here, just in case as well. So, back on the road, and there shouldn't be any more stops until we get there. We caught a side path. Yes, we've made it to one of our coordinates. And now we got to get the other coordinate up. And uh, I've luckily found this side path and it just keeps going. The more it goes for, the less I have to manually mine. Because this is when we are we are veering off the main highway right now. And I've never really done that in the nether before. Oh, my heart is pumping though, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I feel like we could have died so many times in this episode already. But we're still okay. And we're, we're just about there. We are way over halfway there. And if this thing goes on for even another uh, thousand blocks, I'm going to be feeling pretty good. Um, because I will have to mine a thousand less blocks. Well, technically two thousand less blocks. Because for every block I move, I'm going to have to mine two blocks through the nether. Alright, just keep going, man. Just keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found our location. I am close to the spot. This might bring me to the exact spot. I am super, super height first thing we might need though before we go in is a uh a boat i'm gonna grab a quick boat just in case and other than that let me light the old portal holy crap i'm so excited okay so it might be on the other side of this wall it might not be either way you can still see there's some action over there that wasn't me so i actually haven't really had to mine anything um well a little bit i had to mine for but i just traveled through the nether the open nether and i was able to make it here pretty quick all right, dude, let's hope for the best. Hopefully there's not trapped. Please don't be a trap. Oh my God, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. And we're in an ocean. And we're in an ocean. This looks familiar. I've seen something like this before. An ocean, dude. Okay, let me get my, uh, make sure I'm going to the right place. It should just be this way. Look at me. A fellow adventurer here on the oldest server in Minecraft. It better be here, man. It better be here. I'm pretty sure it's here. I'm pretty sure it's here. And if it's not, well, that'll be a very sad day. I'm just waiting for something to come into render distance. Come here, baby. Show me the money. And here 
We found something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the veterans' secret spawn base. Oh my god, we found it, dude. We oh god, I already screwed. I already griefed it. God damn it. <laughs> All right, that's my bad, dude. That's my bad. All right, let's leave the old boat here and start. Now this thing is massive. So. This is a base that FitMC has actually uh, been to recently. So FitMC, leader of the veterans, was here very recently. We are right behind him. And this is a base that was built in 2012 by a member named Offtopia. And he had a bunch of other cool or a bunch of other veterans involved as well. This was built in 2012. It's still standing it has not been raided this is a fresh build a fresh base and has uh, it's been seen by many people but all those people have not been griefers and again it's very very big right away we got cave spider spawner set up not too shabby i'm heading down the ladders now to this underground tunnel system i do want to get to the heart of this build as soon as possible uh, so let's head back outside because i don't really i didn't really watch anything about this so this is my first time actually touring the base as it probably is for many of you and of course we got to be careful there could be people here it could be some sort of hot spot but Again, I'm just here to see it. We're not here, regardless if it's a veteran base or not. This is, it's a monument, right? It's a monument on the, on the server, on the oldest server in Minecraft. Very old base. Kind of close to spawn, I gotta be honest. So, super impressive that it's still, that it's still active and still, you know, still intact. And I don't want to be the one that griefs or, you know, or ruins that. So, but we will, we'll see what they have. I mean, not saying we can't just, you know, dabble a little bit. Maybe take, you know, a piece of steak, piece of chicken here and there. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what this thing has. So let's just keep moving. Look at all the lily pads though, dude. This must have taken so much freaking time. I think we can ditch the boat for the time being because the lily pads will, uh, will do us justice. Holy Lord, dude. We got a bunny and a boat there. Sugar cane. Let's head this way to these glass domes. <laughs> Again, absolutely massive base. Oh, is this a... Uh, looks like they got a farm going here. What is it? Potato farm? Oh, my God. Pumpkin farm. They got carrots. They got it all, man. Melons, pumpkins. This is automatic, too. Looks like an automatic potato farm they got going here. Whew. Oh, and it goes down, too. I think it's more than just potatoes. It's wheat as well. Little custom-made uh, mushroom thing. Ooh, and that looks super cool over there. I can't wait to check that out. All right, let's check up here. Little little home here. Repair supplies. Oh, they got mushroom. See, this is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is a veteran base. Um, I know it's a veteran base because uh, Fit did a video with the veteran uh, that owns this base and uh, talked about many of the other veterans. I'm not going to grief it, right? Like, it is, it's a monument. It can't, it shouldn't be touched. You got to respect the server. However, I feel like it's okay if I take a little bit of supplies. Like, like right here. Like, this is pretty rare, right? Like, finding a, a mushroom like that. Oh, well, never mind. It's not that rare. I guess th that would just be, I mean, it's probably semi-rare. I don't know which update the, the forest biome came out. But I'm thinking, like, even if we take, a, like, a couple of these, they might even be buildable, though. I feel like these things are craftable, and I'm just being a total noob. Is it craftable like that or like that? No, it's not. Okay, maybe I'm not. Either way, just to be safe, I might as well take a few of these things. I mean, who does it really hurt if I take some of that? Couple lily pads. I mean, that's not really rare. It would just take a while. Actually, I do need some wool, though. I'll take that. So I might loot a little bit of supplies here and there, um, just because... One, this was given to me by uh, kind of a random person. So I actually, like, I earned, well, I didn't really earn it. But I got here without my scout or anything, and I wasn't told to not loot it. Like, I could do whatever I want. I'm not griefing it, but my god, I'm probably going to take a few items, dude. I got to be honest, dude. And then we got to keep this alt safe. Look at all the kitties in here, man. So this is like a, a dojo of sorts, it seems. Again, some of the cool parts about this server is the actual like the builds but how good the builds are not that they're just old builds but the fact that they're so good and and the the builders on this server are talented that's what makes these builds uh very very epic and look at the view we get here we got to check out that thing soon that looks like to be kind of the central hub the heart of this thing oh this is awesome dude actually let's get up here 
I'd love to take uh, a little bit. Can we get some sort of screeny from up here? That would be nuts. You are witnessing me take my thumbnail screenshot. <laughs> oh, that is an epic picture, man. Oh, that gets me hyped. Okay. Uh, I just dug right through the floor here. I mean, we'll, again, not griefing. I'll repair this in just a second. This was just to get, uh, get up a okay. Put that back, and there we go. Cool little build in here, and the view of the, the secret spawn base here is epic, dude. Again, I don't really know the full story behind it. I think it was just a base where about five or six veterans, including the veteran called uh, Optopia, who is in Fitz videos, um, this is where they lived for a good amount of time and worked and built, uh, and built, etc. It's called the secret spawn base because no, it's not like 5,000 blocks from spawn, but it is close to spawn. It's not millions of blocks away from spawn. And I got to show you over here. Apparently this right over here is fully custom built. So they didn't just randomly find a mushroom biome and then build, uh, and then, you know, build on it and then just br build a little bridge to it on the lily pads. Apparently they built this thing from scratch. So they got all these blocks, the mushrooms, the mushroom blocks, and look how big this thing is. Look how big this is, dude. I don't know if this is true, man, but apparently this thing is built completely from scratch. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a real biome. I actually just checked the coordinates and it is an ocean biome. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, completely custom built. Holy Lord, look at that. Look at that. What is this thing up here? Holy crap, I gotta get a better view at this build. Oh my Lord, that is nuts. Dude. Again, still seeing that tower in the distance. I can't wait to visit that in just a second. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> wow. What a cool looking build, dude. I almost... Dude, today's thumbnail is going to be hard to choose there. Something like that. That is absolutely fantastic. I think we got to take another one. Oh no, my F1's messing up with this one. Looks like they've got a big farm down... Oh, you know what? It's not even a mushroom farm. This is a villager... This is a village. This is a custom built village, dude. No way. They literally made the homes out of... Uh... <laughs> They made this city out of mushroom blocks and villagers are actually living here. This is a functional, I guess, Minecraft city, dude. Holy lord, dude. I, you guys are just going to hear me getting stunned over and over because, oh my god, look at the basement. Is the entire basement connected by tunnels? I think the entire basement is connected by tunnels. There's a subway system. There's a subway system. All right. What's down here? It doesn't go any further. Okay, let's check out this subway system. One of the coolest things in my mind, I used to watch uh, Let's Plays, etc. And, oh, check this out, dude. Subway to zombie converter, underwater village. Oh, this might take me all the way around, dude. Oh, there's a mine cart here. <laughs> and my point is, I love villages, dude. I find it to be one of the most fascinating things. All right, we're heading this way to an underwater village. Check this tunnel out, man. It just stretches on and on. Oh, I am excited to see in here. What is in here? Look at this. So they got another village, not just that village. This one doesn't look to be too active, though. You know what it is? This must have been the old village. This old... Oh, check this out, dude. An underwater village, custom built, different types of homes, different blocks. Very talented builders in here, no doubt. Again, I will remove these blocks. Don't you worry about that. Just trying to get an, an upper advantage view here and see what I can take a peek at. Look at the roofs of these things. They got ladders to the roof. It it literally feels like a real city. Kind of like a caged-in city. It's weird, man. I can't believe... Uh, so I guess this subway system might lead us all the way around the map, dude. This is going to take us more than just this episode. I should let you know, ladies and gentlemen. There's just There's too much to explore. So I'm hoping you guys are going to want to see more of this in the next episode. Again, if you want to, if you're excited for the next part of today's tour uh, or this this spawn base tour, touch that like button and make sure to let me know by joining the rush or by subscribing. I would love that. We're going to head back here quickly. Um, now I know how to get to this this uh, underground subway system, which will, I think, be easier to navigate around. Now time to tour this tower. And ladies and gentlemen, look at all the chess. Oh my god, my chest ESP has never been more crazy. <laughs> Look at them all up there. Holy god. Okay, so there's some 
I think there's some stuff down here as well, or maybe it's uh no, okay, let's let's save this because there's I already see a saddle and it's like there's an underground version. Oh, that's bedrock right there, it looks like. Okay, regardless, we are going to head up here and just take a look. Again, we're not gonna be looting the whole base. This is not a factions raid. But <laughs> There could be some nice shiny items that are going to be hard for me to resist. Oh my god, take a look at this. Whoo, it's filled. It's loaded. Double saddles already. <laughs> what do we got? We got power one bows, double redstone cookies. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, different type of seeds, beetroot, cocoa, wheat seeds. Obviously, we've seen a lot of those. Look at all the carrots. Okay, first off, I don't... Okay. So this is the first thing. First thing, take a couple of my carrots. I'm going to trade you. I'm going to take a couple pieces of bread, man. <laughs> Just a couple stacks, dude. Oh, are these baked potatoes, too? They got baked potatoes. They've got, oh, my God, bone meal. They've got unlimited bones as well. I got to take just a, just a stack or two. Just a stack or two. So what I'm thinking, I would love to get a few things in the e-chest here. Again, not taking too much, but this is a veteran base. So I feel, you know, I, I would feel bad hurting the actual, the actual base, but taking a little bit of veteran loot, I mean, I think I might just go right ahead. Okay, I'm looking through here more. Dye, different types of wool, any cool enchanted armor, nothing too much in there. All right, pretty loaded down here, though, here on the first floor, man. Holy crap. I mean, look it up there. Just, it's trimmed with gold blocks, dude. <laughs> you know you're doing well when your base is trimmed with gold blocks. My gosh. What I will do as well, I think I'm going to take a, a stack of baked potatoes. I've never had those. I think it'll help uh, with them being baked and cooked and all. Oh, there is a lot more chests to come up here. I thought we would make our way to the top floor and work our way down. I think that would be a good plan. There's an enchantment table right there. Anvils. Oh my god. Oh, look at all the fishing rods, dude. We got a red shield. We got an armor stand. Fishing rods. Oh my lord. The amount of bows in here. Power four. Power four bows. Oh, we got even more. Flame bows. Power four. No way. No way.